Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. Uh, well, I always I always think about when I say Merry Christmas at the earliest videos. I never think about people starting this like watching this as a full playlist like mid year. But we are starting this on Christmas Eve. Let's press the start button on Prince of Persia: Sands of Time. Very important game. A very important game to me. Uh, we always do this every Christmas Eve. We start some game that has some weird arbitrary meaning for me right uh last year we played through avatar uh the video game not the last airbender uh <laughs> i mean the one with the blue aliens uh why was that game important to me i don't know i just watch i just watch the movie whenever i'm wrapping christmas presents i don't know why <laughs> it i i just do uh, and then, you know, before that, we started Sonic 06. That was a truly horrendous game. Holy shit, that was bad. But <laughs> you can watch that. And um, I think a year, a year we did, we played a whole bunch of different games at one point as well. It was odd. It was very, very odd that playing a whole bunch of different video games. We've not done that, we've not done that since. And, uh... It was it was fun, but it was kind of difficult to like focus on so many different types of games. Uh, plus, I tried to make them as Christmassy as I could, and I very quickly ran out of Christmassy games. So I realized that that wasn't really uh, <laughs> doable for me at the time. Uh, Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time, very important game to me. Uh, I will tell you all uh, many stories, and I've got a lot to talk about uh, for this game as we go through it. I'm sure. But let's let's start and let's get a, and let's get going. Okay, now this right here, uh, I remember me and my brother playing it, and it blew our fucking minds. Like we pressed the start button, it did this. My brother was playing it at the time, and he sat here for a, I think about a minute. It was if I like. I don't know, I say that. Like, at the at the time, it felt like we sat there for like 10 minutes, right? But realistically, we probably sat there for like 30, 40 seconds. Before he was like, oh, I'm playing. <laughs> like, at the time, these graphics were phenomenal. Like, what, 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 when was this? Like, 2003? I was like 11 or 12 at the time. Uh, so let's, let's, let's go in here. Oh, they drop, and they desert. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India, where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. It broke, and we died. Well, that'd be a weird fucking start, though, wouldn't it? Oh, look at it. The game actually kind of looks a bit better than the fucking cutscene. Do you think I felt regret as I it's more colourful. Look, at, this is on the PS3. That, uh, we should say that. We are playing on the PS3 version of it. Not the PS2 version. Uh, the PS3 version on the trilogy uh, pack. The HD trilogy. I just figured it would look better and fill the screen out properly, so I figured we'd play this. 
All right, look, here we go. The prince. We have a sword. We have a health bar. Holy shit. That. Hold on. All right, first off, let's go into our options. Let's go to sound. Shall I go on? Let's turn these effects down. Shall I go on? <laughs> and turn the music down one. Okay? Just, just so that the voices are higher than everything else. Because I do not think there is subtitles. I will look. I will look. Um... Tutorials on, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that really matters. Camera? I no, didn't think so. Controller? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think there's any subtitles. Uh, sorry about that. I'm probably going to talk over a whole bunch of shit. Sorry. Then I'll continue. It's still so loud, isn't it? It's so loud. Should we just turn, should we turn it down a little bit more? Shall, Shall we I say go fuck on? it? Oh. Shall I go on? I mean, it's still that. I don't think I've really accomplished anything. Uh, it's fine. Um, right, they're they're all dead. That that's hot. Let, let's go up here. Oh no. Oh okay. We just, we just walk towards them. Jeez. Oh no. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. Well, I was about to say, I play this game a lot, <laughs> but uh, I can't really remember shit at the moment. Uh, luckily, I guess I have a terrible. Oh, bugger. Luckily, I have a terrible memory, I guess. So I can play these games again and again and again. And really enjoy them. It's like a perspective thing. Then this one's like a first person thing. Uh, so many people um, remember the second Prince of Persia rather than the first one. Uh, I say the first one. The first one was like uh, 2D and really, really fucking hard. <laughs> Um, I guess this is like a reimagining uh, of the first one, huh? Alright, it's a guy. He's got a big stick. Here we go. So we attack. And we block like this. I like how he's like holding his dagger already, even though we haven't got a dagger. Alright, we defeated him. He's dead. Um... Can we go for a door? I don't think we can. Put sword away. Look at that. Uh, we'll talk about... Oh, shit. Hello? <laughs> okay. We're on the pole now. That's probably fine. Uh, so this game has a lot of uh, free ro free running. Not free running. Combat. So when he does that, I guess that means that combat is truly, truly done. And you can now return to your running ways. Water's good. Many Water is a drinky thing, right? Honor and glory on the battlefield. How do you drink water again? Them, as said to Rustam, you there is a button. Maybe you can only do it if you're hurt, which we are currently not. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Yeah, here we go. So I, I, I watched my brother do all this, this, like, this segment, and then I played the game uh, for myself uh, afterwards and played through it all the way. And I think ever since then, so ever since, ever since, I, I guess I was, I was 11 or or 12. I'm not gonna do the math. Like I, I very, rem, very rarely remember how old I actually am. So I'm <laughs> not gonna do the math. Uh, I was about 11 or 12, I think. Uh, and this was kind of the game that made me just fall in love with games. Like, don't be wrong, there was games I played before this, uh, Pokemon, Super Mario, all that sort of stuff, right? All that, all that sort of good stuff. But this, this was, this was the game that made me be like, whoa. Games can be so much more than just runny jumpy, uh, catch the Pokemon-y. You know what I mean? And, like, RPGs in general uh, 
did that for me as well. But this, that we hold our one to drink. This is what made me seek out stories, right? Because I played this and I, I loved it. And it made me like... I'm not, really, I'm not really sure I can explain it. Um, I'll do my best. Uh, it made me realize that I was like, wow, this is... This is what games can be. Uh, hell, they could be better than this, right? Oh, let me put my sword away. Um, so if they if they could be better than this, like that's 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 amazing, right? And, and this is when I like started seeking out uh, RPGs and all those sort of things and playing playing games solely for their story. You know? It's what made me seek out uh, the Final Fantasy series and all these things. And then the Final Fantasy series made me just seek out so many other RPGs. Because I was like, wow, games can really be... Games can be anything. Like, it's such a a, a huge medium. Because I... I don't know, because I, I, I was, as a kid, my mum... My mother was very protective of me. And probably for good reason, quite frankly. Um, how do I drop down? There we go. Uh, but I never played uh, many games other than, like, safe safe for kids sort of things, you know? Sort of like, you know, Mario and, like I said, Pokemon. You know, the, all those sort of things. Very cartoony game-based games. Uh, not necessarily only for po for Whoa. Okay. That's a very important one. We just learned a very important skill. I didn't mean to do that, especially doing slow motion, but <laughs> we did it. We jump over them and we slice them. Yeah. This is a big one. I didn't think I could actually do this to the spear guys. Because I thought they blocked it. But I guess maybe it's like certain spear guys. I don't know. Uh, I play, yeah, so I, I played like... I think Cloner, you know. Uh, Mickey's, Mickey's Steamboat Adventure on the PlayStation 1. You know, I played loads of those. And I had a, I had a PlayStation 1. Um, when my brother had a PlayStation 2. And I think it was shortly after this uh, I played Ratchet and Clank. Uh, shortly after this I played Jack and Daxter. You know, I played so many... Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, I played so many different games that, uh, that just started... It, it just unlocked so many different things in my brain. You know what I mean? I was just like, games, I must play them. I need to play so all of these different games. Here, the next time we're interrupted. Sure. And uh and like learn what what all these different games are and and listen to these all these different stories, you know? And this is what made that game for me. This is that game. The I'll game that the story from here truly made it for me. Uh we can run on water now. We can run on walls. Run on water. Run on walls. Man, it's such a good fucking game. And uh, many argue that the Warrior Revenge is the second game is much better, and we'll talk about that uh, maybe next time. Uh, but geez, this it's just it's just special for a very specific reason, you know. The Dagger of Time. Also, gameplay-wise, this game has such an ingenious mechanic for this sort of gameplay. It's so fucking clever. Uh, not to mention that, so th this is a Ubisoft game, right? This is a Ubisoft Daisy. This is a, this is a Ubisoft game, so you might think, you know, wow, well, Ubisoft, not doing so fucking hot nowadays, are they? No, they are definitely not doing very well these days with all of their Ghost Recon uh, current issues and postponing all of their games and having a few issues because um, Ubisoft has kind of become. Uh, very huge, I guess. Uh, but back, back here, they were still releasing very, very good games. And uh, Assassin's Creed, it wouldn't exist. I would go as far as to say Assassin's Creed would not exist to any extent if it wasn't for the Prince of Persia series. The Assassin's Creed games have very much become not. The Prince of Persia, but the first when the first Assassin's Creed game came out, I played and I really enjoyed the first Assassin's Creed. Uh, 
because I loved Prince of Persia. Has very similar elements, you know what I mean? Uh, with the free running and all that sort of stuff. And it's very fun to, to play through, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, however, I mean, this is their fucking treasure vault. Look how fucked up it is. Uh, you know, however, I <laughs> do have a slight grudge against uh, Assassin's Creed as like that since the Assassin's Creed series came out and did so fucking well we've not really seen another Prince of Persia I think since Assassin's Creed came out there's been two Prince of Persias and they were both very long ago there was a cartoony one which was meant to be like a re just a complete reimagining again uh which isn't a terrible idea isn't a terrible game very designed quite heavily for speedrunners I think that game um, and it can be very satisf very satisfactory to go through this environment very, very well and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty good. Uh, however, the combat in that game fucking sucks. <laughs> it really, really sucks. And, uh, and then... And then the other one was like... A, I don't know what to call them. Uh, like, I don't know... Oh, wait, we can't drink because we're um, full up. I actually don't know what to call it. Because it's not a prequel to this. Uh, but it is... It is a prequel. It's like a prequel to the second game. It's like, it, it fits in at some point. Between one of, the, one, of, one of these games. I can't remember which one it is, either. I don't know if it's between the... I think it might be between the second and the third. No, it can't be between the second and the third. Because the third is direct from the... It, the third one starts where the second one ends. So it must be after this. It must be set between this and uh, number two. So there you've just you've just witnessed uh, like the whole the entire mechanic through this I had what I came for it was the, uh, the sands of time right so we now we have now we have this dagger I do not want to do that whoa sand bearer we got a trophy so da it's fantastic so now whenever we die we can reverse time Right, we can reverse time to a slight amount, and it's it's such an ingenious, it's just ingenious. It's so fucking clever for this sort of for this sort of game, because dying in this sort of game uh, can be frustrating. It, it can be irritating because of how complex uh, I guess you have to be. You know what I mean? And because of how precise and complex that some of your maneuvers have to be having this thing when you fuck up it's like oh i've got to do all this shit again having that just you can rewind a little bit that is what makes it great your majesty you promised me my choice the maharaja's vision that dagger surely you won't deny the not so fast jafar you may have your choice of all the maharaja's other Accept that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his new city. And some exotic panels for his new island. And a dozen slave girls. Yes, that should do. I want no animals or nations harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. not a man who has betrayed his master nor take him into your own service lest he betray you too i learned the truth of this to my they also made a terrible David disney movie of this game that did not help it that did not help his attraction your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling if only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome the glories of azad are famed throughout the 
Maybe I'll watch that at some point. Uh, some point between recordings if I find time. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time extends. The sands, why does it glow? I, I cannot hear him, so I hope you guys can. <laughs> Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of Gilgal. Perhaps he will oblige. No! Wowie, here we go. That's the lady from the cutscene. Who was like, no! Now we have, like, the zombie men, right? So now we, when we stab them with the dagger, we absorb the, their sandies. And then that gives us a little orby thing. And then, can we jump over these guys now? Yeah, we can. I think it might be like blue guys we can't jump over or something. Ow. Ow. Each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. So you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta time your things. Luckily, it's not that hard to time them. I liberate them from their monstrous living death. Yeah, so you stab them, and you like uh, you absorb their sounds, and that gives you another rewind time. Luckily, they're very generous with letting you uh, absorb them. And you can, oh shit, you can be quite stupid so if you don't get them in time. They do that. They like get back up. Ah. Jeez, I'm gonna need a big sip of water after this. There you go. Those things over there, that like sand pillar in the background, that's like kind of like birthing itself into the universe as we kill these dudes. That's gonna be a, a safe one. That will let us save once we're done. Also gonna give us like hints and show us like what's gonna happen. Yes. That's just like oh we just hit it on the second one. Ah fuck it, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that's like it shows you a little bit I'll of things. It's the sands of time. We save it and then we then we awaken next to it. 
unconscious like. There you go. It's a uh, part one look in your eyes. or episode I one of the Sands of Time. Perhaps uh, I let's am take a big, who would a big drink. Driven mad by horror such as I have lived, but I assure you, every word is true. So he's he's telling this story to somebody, and uh, and we're gonna find out who he's telling that story to uh, later on. Uh, we will. I actually don't know where to go. <laughs> uh, we go in some direction. We'll figure it out next time. Uh, loads to more to talk about uh, next time as well. Um, it's this, today's Christmas Eve, if you're watching it on the day of release. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic day tomorrow. There will still be an episode of this tomorrow for you guys to watch, of course. And uh, you know, if you have time to watch it. And if not, after that, there will be two episodes for you to watch. So I hope you guys will catch up and enjoy this. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.